power outages are no joke. So being prepared should be a top priority. Do you know the best options when it comes to portable generators? On today's Designing Spaces, we're powering up to give you good advice on what to look for. We've invited Dan Roach from Briggs & Stratton to help you find the perfect solution for backup power during an outage. Standard portable generators have been around a long time. They get the job done, but they have a couple drawbacks. One of those drawbacks is that they have large, heavy components inside that are heavy and require a frame to be wrapped around them in order to move them around. This makes it pretty much of a chore to move that generator around and get it into action. Secondly, they have basic controls, basic engine controls that really don't give the generator the flexibility that it needs to adapt to the power that's being consumed. And then finally, they require a lot of fuel. They run at a constant speed, and that requires a lot of fuel for running extended times. Another problem inherent with some portable generators is the noise. By far, the number one complaint we hear from consumers about portable generators is the noise. And the noise is actually a byproduct of the design. Those big, heavy components inside the generator require a lot of cool air to keep from overheating. And because it needs that air, the open design of a frame allows that sound to escape. And nothing's gonna insulate it from being heard day in and day out. So Briggs & Stratton developed a portable generator that solves the size and noise problems. So we started out with integrated components. You can see that they're much smaller than the traditional generator behind it, but they're also 25 pounds lighter than a traditional generator. These components are oriented in this direction on the generator, allowing cool air to come in and then warm air coming out, and also allowing us to encase this generator, taking the first step in noise reduction with a full shell around the generator. The addition of digital speed controls allows us to take the second step in terms of noise reduction. The Q6500 has a digital speed controller that constantly monitors the output that's going through the outlets. That causes the engine to only run as hard as it needs to to satisfy that demand. This saves fuel and lowers noise. With an operating sound level equivalent to a normal conversation, this portable generator is quiet enough to let your family and neighbors sleep through the night and provides enough power to keep the essentials of your home running during an outage. The Q6500 is lightweight and compact enough to fit into smaller spaces when storing. When a power outage occurs, simply roll the unit outside its storage location and start the engine. So in addition to being quiet and compact, the Q6500 is also fuel efficient. At half load on a full tank, the Q6500 will run between 12 and 14 hours. As with any portable generator, it's important to operate it safely. There are two main aspects that you must focus on as it relates to safety. The first one is on how the generator is hooked up to the house, how it's connected. The only safe way to connect a generator to a home is through a transfer switch that's installed by an electrician. The second step is on where the generator is positioned when it's in operation. Never operate a generator inside an enclosed place. The only safe place for a generator to be operated is as far away from the home as possible. Orient the generator with the exhaust pointing away from windows and vents, as well as combustible materials. For homeowners looking for a quiet, fuel-efficient, dependable, and easy-to-use generator to restore power to their home during an outage, the Q6500 delivers. To view this video again, Visit designingspaces.tv and click on the Briggs & Stratton video. You'll also find a link to the Briggs & Stratton website. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.